So this is my second video and this painting is a challenge that I participated in maybe a year and a half ago, maybe a year ago, and it was a fruit challenge. So this is me painting fruit. But anyway, I wanted to continue our discussion that we had during the first one. So in the first one, I was referring to this idea where oftentimes I would paint and then just stop, like randomly stop and kind of freeze because I would feel like I wasn't good enough or maybe it wasn't like maybe I couldn't be, you know, I would judge my art as like, oh, this is horrible, right? But when we do stuff like that, we, we are basically making it, we're making it harder for ourselves and we're not supporting ourselves when we do that, when we start judging our artwork and seeing it as the worst thing in the world, which is not true, you know, it's just because we have this passion. I was reading something recently about how when we put our self-worth based on what we want, you know, um, how much we achieve, then it becomes a chore, it becomes a job. And so if you're doing that with your artwork, then you're making it a chore. You're making it like, oh, this has to be perfect. It has to be up to the standard. And, and it doesn't make it fun to do. After a while, you do probably discontinue. Or if you're looking for evidence that people like it, right? But then you don't get the evidence that you think you should, then also you might discontinue. And so it's about learning to support yourself and seeing like what you're doing as part of the process. And you know, sometimes we do artwork and it doesn't turn out the way we want. Like I actually have this painting of a hot chocolate mug and I've done cupcakes before. And so I know how to do the whipped cream stuff, right? But apparently it's been very difficult to do that whipped cream on the hot chocolate. And I was just thinking today, like, you know what? Sometimes we do our best and then maybe it's done. Like it might not be our best best, but you know what? That's okay. And so that's kind of what I wanted to address today is, you know, when we hide, you know, when we put ourselves like on this self-worth thing where everything has to be perfect and this perfectionism and the high standards, then we're making it work. And that, that doesn't help us. And so you can see as I'm doing this, I'm adding the, the highlights and the shadows and also the textures. To be able to do some of this stuff, it's sometimes just trial and error to just try, you know, and see what happens. Also, reading books, like finding books that are about like value, finding books that are about contrast, that also helps. Also, because if you're painting in Photoshop or any other program that has layers, you can have it on layers and then duplicate that layer and then you discover, hey, it's not working and then just like delete it which is totally cool, right? Um, but yeah. And then of course there's this like, you look into, you know, you start working on the textures and start seeing the lighting as you're painting. And then you go outside and you go into your regular everyday environment and suddenly you're seeing that. And so like, I think also that also helps kind of improve your painting if that's what you're looking at. But um, yeah, so back to the perfectionism. So it's okay to um, do what you're doing and not have it be perfect. It's also okay that maybe you put it out there and no one cares. But you know what? It's about how you feel. It's about how you um, promote yourself, how you carry on and how you do what you love, right? It's about what you love and doing it. So anyway, I know we didn't get too in-depth into this uh, perfectionism and to the self-worth, but um, yeah, I hope we can um, talk more about that later. So thank you for watching and yeah. <laughs>